Good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, minions assemble. We are back with another new series. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the career series that you've all been waiting for. <laughs> There's big doubt about that one. <laughs> oh, man. Here we have it. Wrexham AFC are currently on the brink of becoming the new dons in League Two, English Football League Two, Skybet League Two, as it's known as. And um, yeah, I have taken the helm of Phil Parkinson's side. I've become the new manager with a fifty million pound takeover. And we are going to be using the money as wisely as we can. We're going to be looking at some free transfers. We're going to look at other players that we can possibly bring into the club that can help elevate and help us continuously grow and get ourselves into the Premier League. We'll see how long it takes us to get to the Premier League. Uh, that is going to be our... That's going to be the goal is how long does it take us to get to the Premier League? As basically... Ryan Reynolds and Rob McAlelly, the co-owners of the club, basically stepped out and said, why can't we make it? And now I'm here to make it a reality via a video game. Yeah, but it's got to exist somewhere, right? <laughs> so, without any further ado, how about we have a look at our squad? So, our squad is looking like this. We have Barnet in uh, right wing back, Mendy in left wing back. Uh, our three centre-halves are Tonnecliffe. Toza O'Connell, they are our three centre halves. Our midfielders are young in more of a central defensive midfield position, and then there's Cannon and Lee as our central midfielders. Then we have the strikers that are none other than Ollie Palmer and Super Palmerlin. <laughs> I just don't think you understand. Uh, the area that we need to focus on the most, I think, right now, are the wing-back positions. The wing-back positions aren't looking really great. Mendy and Barnett, I would say, are probably the weaker side of the, of the team. So we're going to be looking to focus everything. And like I said, we're going to be looking at free transfers as well. And we are going to be looking to get players in the the left and right wing back positions and usually I actually prefer four at the back but because I want to keep this as true to Wrexham as possible this is going to be the starting lineup for a lot of the games as this is the team that they most of the time use but like I said the only difference is is that we're going to be using more of I would say two or maybe four different wing backs as we're going to be looking to get rid of some driftwood as we would say the older players that are come along Mendy who is 25 is a 59 rating and then we have McFasden who's 28 he's also going to have to go um, we do have some good talent in here um, Hosanna who is 23 he's just not going to improve drastically Ryan Barnett as well. Then you've got Reese Hall Johnson. And then you've got Anthony uh, Anthony Ford. So as you can see, we are in desperate need of improvement in the full back positions. Or the wing back positions. So we are going to go into our scout instructions. As we have a striker here. So right here, we've got two. For some reason, we have two strikers. When in reality, the strikers are fine. So full back position, first team quality. Now always alt alter this age bracket thing because it is a pain in the backside i always go for in between 16 to 27 so uh, 27 you've at least got i would say three to five years of their prime left so that is the full back position sorted and uh i would possibly say one more and that being center back uh, just to make sure that you've got someone there so when the time comes, who knows, you probably might be able to bring players in that are going to help. Uh, 
so as you can see that there is our uh, transfer budget as in 53.1 million pounds uh, check all make sure that's done beforehand now we come forward and as you can see that was us right there that's the new gaffer uh, and now we're going to get into the first training session and as we can see here is the first news bulletin Brexit AFC future bright and Molyneux at hell. Newly appointed Molyneux has taken up the reins at Brexit AFC. Speculation links various candidates to the job, but it seems that Molyneux is the best choice in the eyes of the Brexit board. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> uh, we're, ha uh, we're happy to, uh, or sorry, we're here to help support and build the club. Of all the candidates on our shortlist, Molyneux was the one we really wanted. He is simply the right man for the job, he shares our vision for the future and wants to help us succeed in any way we can. Read a board statement. With Molyneux's rival at Wrexham AFC, some pundits are now talking about him as one of the most promising new managers in football. His appointment will no doubt bring confidence, ambition and some courage in the Wrexham AFC dressing room. Oof. And of course, Wrexham AFC set to join Elite. The deal's done, the takeover of Wrexham AFC has been agreed and supporters will wake up this morning to the, new, uh, to the news that their club is now amongst the wealthiest on the planet. Negotiations were concluded late yesterday evening and uh, at a full time in Wrexham, new owners are now expected to set about establishing Wrexham AFC as a new force in the world of football. So, like I said, first things first. Got a trip. So here we go. We are going to train. Let's do this. And as you can see, we are right over there. Fancy pantsy, you know, in the light blue suit. The light blue is actually probably one of my favourite colours. I'm just going to put it out there. I mean, yes, blue is my favourite colour. Uh, light blue, royal blue, and blue. <laughs> They're just. Ugh. I've worn those colours many a times and they suit me. And <laughs> they also make me look good, so yeah. And that's a lovely little finish. Here comes Mullen. He's missed one. Oh beautiful stuff. I'm expecting big things from Mullen in this series. 68 rated. He's still only 27. I mean, Palmer might be someone that we might need to let go of within a, a season uh, and bring in some younger player, uh, a younger striker with uh, more, more, more of a ceiling. But we'll have to wait for that. I think there are a couple of strikers there, as in Dolby and M uh, McAllendon, uh, that aren't uh, going to be in the team really at all. Uh, so we'll have to look elsewhere so I would probably say we need at least two other strikers as well to have make sure that we have good quality in, uh, in the depth and I almost forgot to mention as well we also do have Ben Fozzie Foster the cycling GK uh, which is amazing I mean when I saw the news that Foster was signed I was like, "Wow, they're actually gonna—they're actually gonna go and do it. They're actually gonna go and get promoted." You've got a world-class goalkeeper in Ben Foster, which Premier League proven, and the, the, they don't even talk about the skill and whatnot. He's a proven—he's a proven winner, and he's a thorough professional and a fantastic goalkeeper. At the same time, it's just a win-win for Wrexham. So I just went, "Yeah, it." kind of makes sense it's kind of like a fairy tale ending for for ben by the looks of it it does look like a fairy tale ending uh he goes back for what like a month or whatever or two months to help it, uh, an old club that really helped him out in his career before his big leap uh, before he went to manchester united and helped them get promoted back into the football league for the first time in many 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 years very, very, very tale like. 
And here we go with hot potato. Hot potato is a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. It did. Well, 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 I'll just accept it. I'm just going to accept it because I can't be bothered staying here all night redoing these drills because they will do my absolute nothing. So, we have a couple of strikers there. We're going to have a look uh, at some of them. We aren't going to be going for the all the ones. We're going to be looking at the, the younger players. Ooh. It's only going to make sense. Oh. Oh, Caposo. He's definitely going to be someone that I'm... Oh! Do we go for it? Josh Gordon, he's 27. Comes from my hometown club. It makes sense. So it. Let's go for it. His contract expiring. Yeah, yeah, go on in. And we have the centre halves here. Uh, 24 year old Canadian who was a free agent. Uh, Salmon as well. We'll get these these guys, you know, looked at because who knows, you could eventually bring some of these very talented free agents to your club. And sometimes they can be the best thing. <laughs> They could be better than uh, other players and have like the biggest ceiling. <laughs> oh, Palmer, great touch. Oh, finish. Finishes his dinner. Oh, go on Have it. Oh. Go on then, pingy. Oh, too close to, too close to Ben. That's Ben's all there. Come on in. Oh, finish it. Ollie, oh, Ollie, how have you not buried it, son? Oh, that's a ball. Dolby, you got out. Oh, Ben with a phenomenal serve. Oh, come on then. It's Ollie again. Go on, hit it. Oh, he's dragged it wide. That's a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit aggravating because that's an app. So, we first will get Salmon. Like I said, we, we, we just need the depth, really. We just need depth in, in areas. He's going to be crucial because he'll, he'll, he'll be our highest rated centre half. He's wanted a three year deal. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll say five grand. A hundred. A uh, hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for Van Williams. Nothing too drastic. It could also be a left wing back. Five point eight is the highest. So we now are going after uh, Patrick Caposo. He wants to be crucial. He's going to be crucial. He's going to be our starting fullback. Uh, he wants a three-year deal. We will give him a three-year deal. Disregard the release clause. Uh, and again. Uh, roughly about 5.5k and then again 100 bags for your signing boys good luck a reasonable offer welcome to the club that's some good depth some good uh, and, a, and a new starter a new starter for the club so that's that that's him done and dusted um, now we have Gordon at 27. I, th I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna go for both of them. It just makes sense. It does make sense. So now we are going after Hybert. He's gonna be crucial. Let's be perfectly honest. He's 24, 64, 8. He's gonna be one of the main players. Uh, three years deal, just like everybody else. So, oh, and again, 
100 bags. 5k. Reasonable offer. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> And so, like I said, we have now got the 50 million pounds, so it's going to help out with the cash influx. But it's not too drastic. It's nothing too drastic. It's 50 million. It can only go so far. But all we are looking for is players that have got potential and can also fill in the squad, fill in the gaps that we're needing to help bring in depth. So, Josh Gordon is going to be somewhere around the 480 thousand pound mark uh, if not maybe towards the 500,000 uh, Josh Gordon is a player that I also really do like I think he's a good player he's a, he plays for my hometown club Barrow he's a solid player so we are going to offer 500,000 for Josh and that's a reasonable offer and now we're going to have a chat with Gordon, hopefully bring him in to the club. He's going to be important. Emmanuel uh, Longjello, is it? Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, we've got uh, Luca Hall, uh, Hull as well. So we, we, we are now just, just browsing. We are now just browsing to see who we could possibly bring in. I love that name, Gerald Sit Hall. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen what you did. I've seen what that is. So we'll change this here. You know what we'll do? We'll edit that. Uh, 
there we have it. Now we've got that central midfield sorted. But now we are just sort of looking to see the kind of players. Oh, this lad here, George Tanner, 22 year old, right back from Bristol. Could be good for us. Jack, uh, Jack Burrows. Ryan Cooney. From Morecambe. Could potentially be a good little side in there. Cameron Norman. And we got Ming. Tian or Tian. Uh, I believe it's Ming Tian. His contract is, is expiring in 12 months. Looks like a very solid player at 27. Could be worthy of scouting up and uh, bringing into the club. So, uh, maybe one more centre half as well. We've got Brandon Cooper. No. Uh, no, because he's already on loan. Uh, Frank, Frankie Kent. Thomas Dane could possibly be one. Ryan Delaney, no. Uh, so now, let's have a look maybe. Just trying to think now. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Everyone's just all like, no, oh, dear God. <laughs> all right, well, it looks like all the trading sessions have been done. So now we can just continue on. So there we have it. Isaac Davis has been brought in. Uh, and our other players have as, as well. So you can get there. You can get in the starting eleven. <sighs> Josh Gordon there. Get in there. Get out. McCallum done. I'll get him in there. And that's it for now for the new players. So there we have it. Um. David, uh, Isaac Davis and Josh Gordon in, in uh, their positions there on the bench. They're going to be used as rotational players. Uh, we may swap Gordon in and out most of the time for Palmer. Davis is going to get some action as well whenever Mullin gets tired. Or vice versa. It could be either way. But right now we are going to be looking for one more fullback. Maybe one more top quality centre half to bring in and I would say a couple more right backs or right wing backs I think that's the best way to go you know, so then maybe even one more central midfielder as well who knows uh, well actually do you know what because Hayden is a better overall we'll have to get him in there that back line is looking very solid now apart from right wing back here we go and we asked Quick Sim in the preseason, of course, with a 2 1 win over Bristol Rovers. That's a great win. That's a great way to start. And then there's the Cameron Norman. Uh, that could be a really good little signing. We'll leave him there for the time being and be patient for the rest of the uh, scout reports to come in. Hosanna, another transfer offer, and Dortmund have come in, Dortmund B, uh, Dortmund 2, I think that is, uh, and that's a good amount of money, in my honest opinion, and if he doesn't want to go there, that's on him, I mean, who wouldn't want to go, West Ham signed Kieran Tierney, I think that's 
sign it. All right. And it's a 2-2 two -two draw versus Kilmarnet. Not too bad. Decent. This is just a team that is currently building at the moment. If Tom is dang, he's definitely going to be sad. I'm sorry, but he's just going to be sad. Uh, no, we're not going to go for him. Ooh, possibly. 67 overall. Yeah. Frankie Kent. Could possibly, we'll have to have a look. Ryan Cooney. Right wing back. Possibly a good little one there. George Tanner. Right back, 70, uh, 66 overall. No. So. Wow. The first bit of business. Get that delegated. Tom, uh, Thomas Deng from Australia. Get that delegated. Get it out the way. Because that's most likely going to be a new signing. So now we have Cameron Norman. At 26, 64 overall. Then have a Ming Tian uh, at a 67 overall, 27 years of age. Uh, I think this one's a no brainer. These are the ones that we should bring in right here. And I think even Kent as well. So, first off, we're going to go for Kuri. Uh, and yeah, 780,000 is roughly around so we are going to go for seven that's a reasonable offer and we're going to now go in and uh, hopefully bring in Ryan Cooney to, Re to Wrexham he's going to be a crucial player for us four years you can agree to that. So, oh wow, he's not on a lot, is he? At Markham. He's going to be on around five grand for us, which he should be more. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew How much I miss
get it. Welcome to the club. George Tanner from Bristol City. Helping out massively in the depth department, but also young age as well. Now we have Kent, ladies and gents. Kent could be brought in big time, but we're going to hold off for a minute. We're going to see now the state of our club. Um, and as I said, we have brought in a lot of new players now. We have Longello. He is going to be going there. Howard's going to be taken out. Uh, Cooney is going to take his place. Uh, Tanner as well. So Tanner is 66 overall. So he's going to be the main man. And then we have Cooney on the bench. This team's looking pretty damn decent now. Maybe just need a central midfielder to help with the depth. As I did say that we were probably needing a central midfielder. Which we are going to be looking for now. Uh, Matthew Garbert looks like a good one. Uh, no. Uh, Edmund Adu could be a good one. Jordan James from Birmingham. No. Uh, Herbie Kane. No. That is all we have right now. Oh, wow. This 22-year-old looks like he could be a really big signing. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now for scouting. We'll wait for those scouting reports to come in. So, now, we have this brand new team. We're up against Samp uh, Sampdoria. We're going to quick sim this one, and it's a 2-2 draw. Uh, a good a, a good outing in pre-season. A very good outing in pre-season. Deng has accepted the offer. And, yeah, looks like we're going to be welcoming, welcoming in Thomas Deng to the club. And he's going to help out with the depth uh, in the central half, uh, centre half uh, position. So maybe we can hold up on Kent. Uh, two months though, Luke Young with an injury. That's not a good sign. And that's just going to be delegated immediately with Salford. Uh, both of them are just going to be accepted. And we'll allow him to decide which team he wants to go for. And it's a sale agreement from Salford. It's 320,000. Get him out the club. Get him gone. We've got the depth now. Apart from central midfield. Which we are now looking to help build. And now Wimbledon have come in. Uh, and we're going to accept that immediately. Hopefully that these lads just sort of go. Because they hopefully now realise they're not going to get much game time. So. We are still... Just waiting. Oh. That's supposed to be a player going out and it's Hasana. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I, I was like, oh, who's he signed? <laughs> I was like, I haven't signed anyone else yet. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And the other one. Reese Hall Johnson has left the club to go to AFC Wimbledon. A good little sell there. And now we are looking.
midfield here to help, well, help basically give us depth as well, uh, especially in the younger years too, because other younger players that have a higher ceiling that are already higher rated, that's brazy. All right, that is everything. And there we have it, ladies and gents. We have a new player. Uh, Day of Wei Jun have been brought to the club. And there is Big Ben there, Big Ben F uh, Big, <laughs> Big Ben Foster, you know. Big old Fuzzy. 73 overall in the game, you know. And there we go. He is here. Welcome to the club. So now we have the depth in most areas. We do. We have the depth in most areas. So now, as you can see, Luke Young is out for uh, he's out for a while. He's out for two months. So Ado, he's gonna go right there. He's gonna slot in, and he's gonna be put in immediately. So then you're gonna have. And there we have it. There is the new midfield, ladies and gents. This is absolutely fantastic to see. This is a very good looking team. It's a very good looking team. Thomas Deng as well. And as you can see, there it is. The brand new team. The brand new team. Uh, the depth is there, as in youth as well. Uh, you've got Ben Fozzy Foster uh, at 39 years of age, the goalkeeper for this club. So then you have Tanner at right wing back, uh, Capozzo in left wing back, Hayden, Salmon, uh, or Salmon, uh, O'Connell as the center, uh, central defenders. Then you have Adu as the new central defensive midfielder, Dei Wei, uh, Wei Jun. Is and Lee Elliot Lee, Ollie Palmer and Super Paul Mullin. So then on the bench you've got Isaac Davis, Josh Gordon, uh, Garbert, Cannon, Cooney, Deng, Longello. That's a really nice looking team. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's a very nice looking team. It's it's very very good. For League Two, I would say I would say this is a is a side that could potentially get promotion. This is a team that is gonna genuinely possibly challenge for promotion this season. The tactics for those of you that ask, I always have the heavy touch uh, pressure on heavy touch. I do it in every single career mode. Uh. So he's the best free kick taker, is he? Is Elliot Lee. Actually, why is he taking long free kicks? So, right corner. Give it to. Give it to Lee. Uh, Wei Jun. Penalty, 63, 64. Alright. That is everything, ladies and gents, for, for the time being, for this squad. And now, we are gear, gearing ready for the beginning of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. Our first game is up against Newport County. And just before it, Sheffield United have come in for a bid on Paul Mullen. One point one million blocked immediately. He is our super Paul Mullen. He's our star striker. You can get in the bin, please. So, uh, Ben tells us the rod about him being captain. He's out of the squad. He's he's just out of the squad. He's going to be gone, sco gone soon. Uh, Kyle Hybert has come up as well, going, 
he feels like uh, he could do a better job. Uh, sorry, but I, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. So where is Hybert? Is it me? Hybert, there he is. 64 overall. He's not going to get in the starting level for, for a little while. O'Connell, how old is O'Connell? He's 26. He's 24. Hayden, he's 25. Yeah, we've got a lot of young players in, in the squad now that are towards their prime, etc. So... It's tough, it's a tough, it's a tough, tough place to be in. Hi guys, thanks all for being here. Questions one at a time, please. Here we have it though. So we'll try to improve every day. That's self-belief. It'll make a big difference, that's for certain. Okay. He will make a big, big difference. We'll die where you. But, without any further ado, let's get into the game. We are simming the games, by the way, unless it's a very important game. If it's to say clinch promotion, we're going to play it. If it's a, a cup final, we're going to play it. And the contest it's begins. But our tactics are in place. We're not giving the opposition a look in. And strong play. Let's be having you. Oh, oh that's go. a pass of high and quality. And it's a goal. Elliot Lee with a first goal. And it's 1-0. It's a wreck to lay against the Back the underway. 1-0 it is. A chance to whip it in. That's on a new part. Harrogate Town. It's good to hear Promising sequence. Oh, what and he a takes pass. on the shot. Must be. Oh. oh, body in the way, crucially. Palmer. Shot being blocked. Joe Matter. But this is beautiful. Pressure giving the here. ball away. It comes Must be. Oh, oh wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Beautifully disguised ball. Oh, here we come now, Wrexham. On the attack. It's still there for him. Oh. Edmund Addo. Here we go. Mullin. Lee. Lee. Had a chance to whip it in here. Oh, beautiful. Is this the moment? Oh, he's put and it missing wide. the Where's chance in? to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, well that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted from, opportunity. From the Red Dragons here. And moving the ball nicely. And a goal! And it's 1-1. To level this contest. Oh. All even. Hopefully the so underway again that, here that on the back of that leveler because and the, in this first half it's been nothing but Rex it's been nothing but mainly Rex and they haven't had many opportunities yeah Harrogate two shots Rex have had five one chance so yeah yeah so back underway. And an intriguing second half in prospect. Come on now. I don't know. Could play it in. Mm. And the counter Tanner's attack is on. Of Options available. Time. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Here's Mullin. Palmer. They're playing some nice football though. Oh, good they vision. are playing some really nice football. Well, and really, making the goalkeeper's faster. life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. And so now we're going to make some substitutions. We're going to bring Garvey on. We're going to bring Gordon on. And because I think that he's been struggling a little bit, we'll bring Cooney on to get his first... A uh, few minutes on the pitch. We'll get Long Jello on as well. Uh, yeah. Do we bring 
Yeah, we'll bring Deng on. We'll, we'll get we'll give Deng a chance. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Go. Can we get a goal? Can he do it to take the lead? And oh, good what work a to save. deny the opportunity. Oh. And he clears the danger. This is end-to-end. -end. And that's great work to keep it in At play. At this moment in time, but I would say Rexham have just... Have just they've been edging Elements it. Element of the risk moment. there, but he's won the ball. It's still not been out of play in a very long time in this game. Salman. Oli Palmer. Can they nudge in front late on here? Can he put them in front? Oh, Mullen! And quite simply, a chance wasted. Oh, yeah. Well, with time I'm running out, what an opportunity to take the lead there. And it's full time, now the substitutions were not able to come and on. And that is that, the final score. FIFA fix this as well, please. Fix that as well. Don't just do that. That's, that's a ball lick. So do you know what we're going to We're going to increase on the time. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna increase on the time. And it's a pain in the ass. We'll do uh, we'll do fifteen. Uh, we'll do twenty minutes. That's not it. Um, just so that there's more chance of it actually going out of play. No, you're not going to get in the team, lad. You're not good enough. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the EFL Cup. And uh, what I would say is we are going to have other players start. We're going to give these new boys the ch a chance. So, so. So there's the there's the team. There is the team, ladies and gents, for the for the next game, which is in the EFL Cup against Sutton. So here we go. And the match is underway. We talk about rotation. Oh. Now will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And the referee Ooh. sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Free kick. Well, the fans Rexham. really want him to I mean, shoot. Capitalise on this. No. Nope. Very powerful. quick thinking there. Kuasi. I just feel like a proper. What like, can they do to stop him right running at them? Sort of Opportunity here. Oh, a tremendous block. With, with the VK. Well, it's a poor tackle. He's so British. And so gets British. inside. In with a chance. Oh, what a save. Oh, fine it? stop. Talking about the glory days. <laughs> well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Yeah, come on, boys. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Come on. They could nudge in front. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. Cooney. That should be hitting the back of the Maybe net. The, that was a big, big, for big goal, chance. For his, for his new club. And it's Dennis. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Oh. But let me Who know, ladies and gents. Let me know if you want me to actually Must play score. the game. What a save. Work to do. So let me know if you actually want me to play some Just games. Just the clearance that was needed. Let me know in the comments. Would you like me to play some of the games? Is, is this enjoyable enough for you guys and girls? Like, if you want to see me play more of the games, I will play some more of the games. Let me know how many... Or how much of 
Away game they go again. Of the Second half is underway here. Replaying playing the game itself and actually, you know. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. On the game. Can they you know, forge ahead from this corner I'll kick? Let's see. Incorporate in for the Determined next block. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Bodies forward and the break looks on. He has time to play it over. Come on. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Now can they create something? Credit to them for winning back possession. Moving the ball forward with Yo. purpose. Something well, it came to nothing in the end. Kouassi. That's useful play. Fans. Oh, a vital Jackson. interception. Jackson. 20 minutes to go. Come on. What are you doing? Gordon, that is. No. Oh. The cross is on. Simple save, really. Error by the keeper. Might Buzzy, give him what a are you chance. Doing? Well, up to the goal and puts them ahead. Well, making amends is all part of the game. Well, no wonder he looks relieved. That could have proved costly. And the search goes on, and somehow oh! the score sheet remains blank. Well, I think that sums up why we haven't seen any goals in this game. It's not a good finish, is it? Oh, Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Can he find the right pass? Come on. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Ah. So it's penalties. And do you know what? We're actually going to join in for these penalties. I do. And the keeper makes the all-important <sighs> save. What a big moment. So lethal in front of goal. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And that was Super an Paul exquisitely Moore. taken penalty. Oh, he Come on, Ben. Josh Gordon. And he pops scored. it into the top corner. Stunning. And he steps up to take the shot. Well, that was the so-called oh, Paninka, yes. but when it doesn't work out, oh dear. I must say, oh, that takes me. real confidence. Oh, Brilliant. So much on the line All right. with regard to this penalty. They have to score this to stay in. You go. Oh. Well, the goal is always in front of goal. It comes so down to this. If we score here and they win right the game. now, Cooney with the penalty. It all comes down to now. And that, alas, went horribly wrong. Oh! Oh, no. If we save this. If we save this. Superbly done. How many players would try that? That's my fault. I'm trying to dick around too much. Fuck! Here comes Cannon now. I think we might oh, just, just have witnessed the unstoppable oh, God, penalty. I just out the keeper's reach. Oh, here we go, though. Love that. Can Ben... Can Ben do it? Goalkeeper no! beats him from the spot. You bitch! And he steps up to take his penalty. Here comes Hayden. Hayden. And, the and he's put that so upper echelon. It's disgusting. Here we go. Can he save it? Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. The what, is, what are these penalties? These penalties Can are dog wank. Oh, Fozzy. Can Ben pop it in? And he can indeed. The top corner. Here we go now. He's yes! 
Thank God for that. What a save as well. It's not the greatest of penalties either. It's quite central. It is, it is quite central, but it's still it. You st you've got to be there to save them. Here we go, ladies and gents. You've just seen. Oh, that is... Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And that is going That's to be a free, a free kick. kick. Oh, at one point on its face, oh! it looked as though it might be going in. Well, he wasn't afraid to have a go, was he? And you can see why. End. That was so close <gasps> to being a great goal. And an astute piece of defending. Come on. Breaking at pace. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And they forge ahead. Hey. They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Hey, please, put it in the back of the net. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Yeah. And now, Mine. passing it through. Oh, for fuck's sake, why are you pa passing it out? Turn around and take a hit. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Do you know for what? I've got to start jumping in. Oh, good vision. Come on! Rijun gets his first goal for the club. Now they're level. Woo! So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. Well, real that difficulty desperately keeping needed. the ball. It's a good looking ball in behind. Credit to them for winning back possession. Well, attacking possibilities. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Oh, what is that? Callum Cook. Plenty of support here. It should be a smart stop here. Oh, Connell's having a man. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Lee's not having a good game either. And with... Do you know what? Oh, Connell. And Lee. Get them off. We're having stinkers. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Come on. Who can he pick out? Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Now can they counter clinically? Come on, boys. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Ah. Aaron Hayden. And possibilities here. Come on. Can he compose himself? Oh, and it's two for him today. A masterful oh, performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Ooh. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. to Wrexham. This could be the equaliser. I was about to say, don't you against the yeah, let them score. Play. Well read to ease the pressure. Jennings. Oh, a nice looking pass. I wish I wish I didn't bring him off, but, but into the needs, last fifteen minutes of action. Ah. Ferguson. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. And possession oh. given away. Oh, oh Palmer. Paul Mullen. Mullen. Can he do it? Oh, oh. Fine stop. It might still be problematic. Come on. A wonderful intervention. <laughs> Come on. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But please, a good piece please, of defense. Yes. And there goes the final whistle. We've got to win. We got another win. We got a win in the league, though. Thank God. Oh wow! That's how you do it. <laughs> oh, 
What are you wanting now, you bitch? I'll think about it. If you probably want. O'Connell as well. O'Connell, do you know what? Fair enough. He's been stinking up the gap. He's been he's been hooning. He has been hooning. So probably the best thing to do is to bring back the squad. Do you know what? We'll sim the first half and then we'll see what the score line is. And then if the score line is okay, then and we'll begins. jump in for the second half. And then that'll be it. Lee. This attack oh, looks highly on. promising. Can he find the angle? In it goes! But it I, will oh, how is he upside now? Well, it's not what he's finding the fucking man. He certainly thought so. He's making that. Oh, Wigeon! This is just heartbreaking. Mullins upside for his first goal of the season, and all of a sudden Wigeon bangs it off the post. Real chance. Palmer, please! Put it in back of net, son. We take it short. A oh, decisive dang. clearance it was. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they get in behind them? Eh. Losing like possession it. here. Come on. Palmer. Edmund Addo. Beautiful. Good movement. It's there for him. Oh, oh no, please. Put it in the back so of unlucky. Please. And the keeper's what? given it away inexcusably. Oli Palmer's bagged it. Only Palmer's bagged it back in there. Dreadful mistake by the goalkeeper. Come on, son. So the match has restarted. One nil here. Woo wee! Might be able to get in behind the defence and tip wow, it down the crossbar. A corner will ensue. Now the pressure from his opponent was oh, telling. Oh, I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Oh, oh. A terrific pass. Come on, beautiful. Please, you've got to take to it. To it. Oh, please. Please take advantage. Elliot Lee. And with Aye. Aye. It's only 1-0. We'll jump in. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Beautiful. Work to get past his man. No, Can they I've, just the game? I've just allowed him to score and me. I am the equalizer. So back underway following the equalizer. <laughs> yeah, I'm dog shit. <laughs> I'm not actually. I'm tired of Eh? Can they forge ahead? They I'm do. sorry, no. And you've got just to no. How was he not outside the there? So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Paul Mullin, you're so slow on this game, mate. Like, you are so Green slow. Green has it. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But timely defending when it mattered. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Oh, Palmer. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't this happen is, for this them. Is, this is stinking up the gap. And players waiting in the centre. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Now someone has scored in one of the other matches. Let's find out exactly who. Alex Scott will tell us. Yeah, it's a goal for Swindon Town. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 49 Oh, come on, played. Palmer. How are you, how no are you keeping over the ball Derek. there? Thanks as always, Alex. Oh, that's a really good run. Dangerous ball. Well, when it left the boot, Dangerous I thought it hands. might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Oh, that's an interesting Great pass. Ball. Come on. 
Elliot Lee. Where's your fucking wall? I pass it to you. Why is there no one in the middle? Oh. Oh, beg off. Why is there no one in that central area? Well, considerable transfer speculation in recent times. And now, oh. Stuart, it has emerged that United have got their man. Yeah, at that price, I think he's value for money. He'll oh, sit. hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. Goal kick. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. This is just And they off. will make the change now. I should have just, you know, stayed in simulation mode. <laughs> Now, who can he play it to? And that Ding. puts him in position. Beautiful. And a chance to level it. Come on! Elliot Lee. Another. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is... That's how you again. do it. So the ball is running That's again. That's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Now, the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bradford City. Ooh. They're back in this now with 53 minutes played. Oh, surely. Missing I'd love to say he better not get that in the back margin. of the net. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right. Because if he did, he almost yeah, pulled it off there. there. He made such good contact with the ball. Here comes Tanner. Look at that person. Ollie Palmer. Beautiful. Your players waiting in the middle, yeah, yeah. and the defender got the last touch. That'll right. be a corner. Ping it. Who's going to get on the end? Of it? The clearance oh, wasn't decisive, just couldn't get it through. Donkey, how is he the body? Please. I saw what you were going to try Not and the do. Pass there, he had in bitch. mind. You bitch. Come on in. Paul Mullen. Oh, Paul, you're having a stinker. I'll do so, getting a bit tired. Behind. Oh, from the keeper. Fantastic okay. stop. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Beautiful. Struggling oh. to get it away. There's Mullen. You find someone. That's Caposo. Oh, Caposo, that's absolutely dog shit. Another time for cool heads. Come on. Got it there. Come on. Come on, Ollie. Very effective play, and they might be onto something. Must take the oh, lead here. Oh, oh, you've got to score that. You've got to score that, son. He's offside, isn't he? assistant referee has raised a Oh, Paul Mullen has absolutely missed a sitter. Well, those stats tell you what a good game this has been. We've seen a lot of good attacking play, plenty of goal mouth action, and all done at a high tempo. It's been very entertaining so far. Nice. On the offensive. Might be a <laughs> <chance here. laughs> oh no! Oh, Bitch! How? Please tell me how that has not become a goal. That was stunning football. Oh, I am after sorry. That fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw but in. That is bullshit. That is bull game. Like, I'm sorry, but that's a goal. That's useful play. Can he get them don't, in front? don't you dare oh, game. Block, but he must clear it away. Fuck me. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? He must finish. Fuck off. And the keep. Just can't. I can't be asked. I can't be asked. But it more than enough. And time for the change now. Keen to take it short here. Can he find the net? 
Fuck he scored me. once already and close to making it a oh. double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he's in real danger today. Delivering it. And away. And the problem not completely solved. The supporters want to see him have a go. Didn't fall the keeper. My God, you got that. Away. And he failed to get it away properly. Hunt. Hunt. The oh, bitch! Spotted the infringement, and it will be a free oh, kick in a position oh, of genuine menace. Not the worst free it's kick bad. in the world, but the goalkeeper equal to it. And back with Gordon. Thirty minutes to go then. Noise, Elliot Lee, Gordon, stunning. Still pushing for that goal. Please, that would see forge ahead. Oh, oh no! Oh, body in the way. <laughs> yes. And there's oh, been a change cry. to the scoreline in one of the so other nice. games. Alex Hamilton sails. Yes. It's a goal Come for on, the county. They've scored the opener with 61 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. No, 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 no. Running with the ball. No, 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 no. Not today. Yes, How have they bagged that? I'm so, I'm so low. Bullshit game. Just no. Like, again, and we're being that's treated to plenty of goals. Absolute bullshit. Three two at the moment. Absolute horse. Do like nah. Oh, fuck off. He's got the ball. Nothing but ball. Fuck off, goalkeeper. You want to do that sort of shit? Amos. Fucking press, please. Hunt. Get that. Yes. Losing possession. Well done. A bit easily. He has teammates around him. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. You yet? Oh. Green. Khan. Please. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Come on. Damn it. Good boy. It's all yours. That's it. Beautiful. Mullin, you've got to bag. Well, I have to oh. say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then oh, a thank God, he was That's just outside. Job. Back underway, and quite the story being written in this one. Three all. Oh, my good God, my heart is going. My heart is going. Green. Oh, you fucking dead, dead. Most problems for the defenders, but ably intercepted when it looked as though yes. oh, far from a smooth a challenge. Now, send will the referee produce send a card? Off. Send him off, send him off, send him off, send him off. Send him off. Oh, well, it bitch. was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day. Danny long. boy, that was dirty. Come on now. Paul Mullen. One. Gab it. Oh, you yeah. mother trucker. Go on, Elliot, get up. Get him, son. Oh, great vision. Pull! Oh! 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 He's <laughs> gone so well. Super Bowl, Molly! I just Fantastic don't think you technique. understand. <laughs> he's finally bagged the brace. Oh! He's bad, he's part of it now. It's just the beginning. Oh, Neil. Well, here it is again. Woo! What a ball that is over it's the top of the defence. Cheeky, it's a cheeky, cheeky little day. Cheeky, cheeky. And what about the finish? Oh, that's a With volley. such control and technique. Bang! It could have gone anywhere, but not with his skill. Like it's a great son. goal. Oh! Oh, I can breathe tonight. Oh, am I out of subs? Wait, what? Eh? Get five, don't you? Have I used five? 
I'm not mistaken, am I? You are a little well, bit far away. I've, got, I've, I've completely lost how many guys I've brought on. But I look at like four people on And the referee is quite right. There's three or four people in the, on the bench. Are they having it? Well, someone has scored in one of the Ooh. other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. It's a goal for Sutton United. Nice build up play. And when the oh. space opened up, boy, did he take it well. They're back in this now with 69 minutes played. Wonderful chance. Oh my god, game. It. Good heavens. Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. No, it shouldn't have been. Shut the fuck up. Andy Cannon. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But they dealt with the threat. Oh, rest. Well, the fans are driving their team on here. But can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. Oh, they couldn't He's put off. it away, Stuart. Bitch, please! How is parry. he not offside? He's about ten leagues away. And taking it away. Can he find the right pass? Oh, this passing though is just dumb. Who do you think we are, Prime Battle? Oh, rest. And still they wait for the chance. Oh, 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 oh my God! How is he He's not offside? He's not being given. Twenty man. minutes to go. Paul, go on, go on, son. Get your fucking hat trick, Paul. We bubble in, no! Well, he took care of it defensively. Get up. Come in. Oh, yeah, as if he turns that way. He's not going to turn that way. Oh, no. That's me being and an idiot that, there. Didn't think I get through. Fizzles out. What the fuck? How did that get through? I'm like, oh, no, they're, they're easy going to get that. No. Come on. Oh, Those boy. Win it back. Here, get there. Yes, sir. Go on, Josh. Go on, Paul. Paul. Oh, oh. Super Paul. Oh, come on. He has time to play Josh. it over. What's wrong? They've got yes! the score on, son. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged oh. back. What a run by Gordon, by the way. Well, here it is. Sorry, but that 1v1 run by against Gordon the keeper, and the outcome stunning. was never really in doubt. He right into open like space, that. and BAM! In the roof of your net, son. Pick that one out. And if you enjoy high scoring contests, Come on. this has been the game for you. Oh, tackle. That's your son. Go on, Paul. Oh, go on. on Get there. Get there. Ah, uh, bitch. Paul Mullen. He's out. And the cross smuggled away. I thought he was outside. I'm sorry, but can I take an instant replay of that? Because he looks way offside here. Is he? He is. He's offside. So, there we have it right there. Fam, he's offside. As soon as I pass that ball, he is offside. This game is fucked. Can <laughs> it's they so hit broke. On the break? They need to get bodies back. Making a bit of headway. Oh, no. And that was a very fine read. Come on then. Ultra defensive. Into the advanced position. Well, beaten easily here. In search of space. <gasps> oh, Real what a block. And he takes on the shot. Fuck off game! Absolutely unplayable today! What a performance! And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5 4. Me, me too! Andy right, Cannon. Take your time. Moving into the advanced position. 
Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Paul Mullen. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. <coughs> Shot attempted, and the keeper wow, has the measure of it. And how did he get a strike off that? Played over, and the danger still on. Is it going to be? Oh, God, oh, eh? Crucial tackle. Brilliant. Teammates available. A real opening Beautiful now. Beautiful Gordon. It's it. Finish it. Done. Booyah. Fully deserved. Come on. Don't know how this is a scoreline in League Two. <laughs> it's six four. You're fucking high. Green. Now let's see what they can do here. Could be. Oh, what the God. fuck is going on? My goodness, that gets the pot boiling. It's not over yet. I wish it fucking was. Tarek Salman. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Cannon. Andy Cannon. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Mullen. Oh, this is just uh... and across the touch line, so a throw in here. Green has it, and he read it superbly. Oh, and the referee blows for a foul. <sighs> the game don't want me to win. Hey. Well, do they have a the goal in the future? They're giving it a go. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Oh, a smart stop. And how is he not? A I'm going to check that again because he looked offside. No, he wasn't there though in the game. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. And he clears Wait. the danger. That's all. Because the game's never going to give that as a fucking foul. Well, it? almost yeah. there. The final whistle nearly upon us. Have they done enough to secure victory? Stuart, your take. Well, going forward, yeah. they've been excellent. But they've also <laughs> been too open at the back. They certainly haven't won this yet. Oh, beautiful stuff. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Paul. Paul, we're going to get his hat in. Ah! The position he found himself ah! in, he really should be testing ah! the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. Ah! Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. I've had before no chance. Khan. Ah! Green. No, 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 no. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Oh my oh, god! Well. I'm a heart in well, my corner fucking it mouth. Is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. Oh, splendid! Ben Foster with a good save! Well, another corner oh my god. following on from the last one. This is one. stress! This is stress! Not really the ideal I'm clearance. Stressed. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. I'm sorry, oh, but the bullshit game. In the closing stages. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. This game, this game. A 
And given the situation, a goal at this stage now might injured. well Great. turn out to be a winner. Of oh, course, man! Real chance. What's the save? Oh, and yeah, yeah, they get a corner, don't they? This game well, is so Well, you just so never know about oh. chances near the end. Oh, You've my got God. to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? Oh, and off. clearing is away. He got that pass off. Can he put it away? Well, body in the way. You see what oh, I mean? No, they just the wouldn't get that goal. Just fucking bullshit the bullshit of this, this game. Out? It's so dog shit. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, Seven the goal six of the scoreline, my ass. Let's hear more from Alex fucking Scott. League Two. Yeah. Got the fucking farmers there. Like. This now. game. I'm sorry, but this is just bullshit. This is just bullshit. This game is absolutely broke. It is so broke. It's pathetic. It's so broke. It's unbelievable how broke this game is. Oh. So we now have they're up against Doncaster. I'm gonna to need to do some substitutions for the next game. Uh, that is going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all ever so much for watching. This has been the Wrexham, uh, basically, in a manner of sense. Not, not as much as a rebuild, but it's a, it's a career series where Wrexham are actually in the Football League. They're in Sky Bet League 2. They've just been promoted. More money being funneled in to their uh, cause for £50 million. And they've now... Now they're just looking for depth, they're looking for quality, they're looking for depth to bring into the squad and help them challenge for promotion to League One. But that's everything for now. Thank you all ever so much for watching. If you are new and you would like to see more, all you got to do, cross subscribe with the bell so you never miss up any upload from me. Also, crush that like button too, it really does help the algorithm for the channel. Also, let me know that you're enjoying what you see here. You can also press that dislike button as well. You know, I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> uh, also, please feel free to reach out uh, in the comments with anything that you, you that you would like to add. But yeah, that is going to be it for me for now, folks. We'll see you all next time. God bless, take care, and uh, minions, dissemble. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.